So, Mrs. Andrews, can you please uh, state your name, address, and telephone for the record? Um, Callie Andrews, um, address. I, I live in Nicholas College, Copper Beach. Um, vote number is 774-321-5073. Thank you. So, uh, Callie, um, on the date of September 7th at approximately 21, 30 hours, where were you? Um, so I was walking um, towards um, the, I was walking by the Bison um, okay. on Center Road, um, right outside of the Student Center. And um, it shows that you were the first one at the scene, is that correct? Correct. Okay, and you made the first phone call to the Dudley Police? Yes. Okay, and what did you say to them? Um, I told them that um, I saw, when I arrived to the scene, um, saw a guy taken off on foot. Um, he was probably about, uh, he wasn't too far away from me, but I just saw the back of him. Um, I, also, I saw two vehicles, they crashed into each other. Um, another guy was behind the wheel. Um, the blue Honda. Mm -hmm. um, can, uh, sorry, excuse me. Um, can you tell me if they were African American or? Um, so the driver of the blue car, he was African American. Um, the male running away um, appeared to be Caucasian. So you saw someone on your way from the scene? Correct. Okay. <clears throat> um, where were you going? Um, I was walking um, to the library. Were you alone? Yes. What time were you planning on coming home from the library? Um, not too late. I was just gonna um, go print something out for an assignment. And do you remember what time you left your room to go to the library? Um, so I left my room around nine twenty. Also, uh, did you say anything to the parties involved in response to what you witnessed? Um, so the dry I saw um, a person laying in the street. Um, completely unresponsive. Um, I walked over to the car um, of the driver. He was unconscious as well, but he was regaining um, his consciousness. Okay. Uh, also, did uh, did you try at all to make any attempt to help the John Doe before the emergency response team came? Um, no, didn't didn't touch her because she just she really wasn't moving at all. Um, wasn't making any noises or anything, so wasn't really sure what to do. Where on the street did you see him? The um, the person who passed away. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, she was uh, kind of like laying in the middle of the street. Um, I, I can't really approximate how, how far away from the car she was. Okay. Do you know what part of the car she was near? Um, so both cars, um, they were kind of off to the side of the road, crashed into each other. Um, she was laying more towards um, the road, uh, she, was, she was in the middle of the road, so both cars were like near each other, so she was near both cars. But would you say she was directly in front of one of the either cars, or no? Um, I would say that she was um, in front of the, um, the, the blue car. Okay. I think. Alright, that's awesome. it. Yeah, thank, thank, you. thank you. Wait one second before you call them. Yeah. Um, in the evidence, it says that the victim was found in front of the silver car, and she said that the victim was found in front of the blue car. So we have to figure that out a bit. Um, so we'll definitely call her back in, tell her to retell the story, ask that question again. Do you want to get uh, uh, Thomas? Well, let's get Stephen next. Stephen. Yeah. Did I say 2130? Yeah. 2130 hours. What time? 9 a.m. Yeah, 2130. Yeah, and she said 920. <coughs> Hello? Uh, how you guys doing? Uh, can you please state your name, address, and telephone for the record? Say that again? Uh, your name, address, and telephone for the record? Uh, my name is Steven Sainville. Address 44 Ever Street. I mean, Nichols College. And um, what was the last part? And your telephone? Telephone, 781 373 2095. Okay. Can you tell us exactly where you were going? 
on the day of the accident? Uh, I was driving back to my dorm, my dorm room. Where were you back coming from, from? Driving back from McDonald's. Okay. Do you remember so, what time that was at? Uh, it was approximately 9.30ish, 930, 930. Yeah, it was around 9.30. Around 9.30. Yeah. And what had you planned to do that night when you came back to school? I was just going back to my room, just to hang out. None, none, serious. Mr. Stanford, do you uh, recall having any uh, any substance, like meaning alcohol or drug substance in your not at all. up to the, alcohol, uh, the accident? No, not at all. I was just coming back. I grabbed some food from McDonald's and driving back at campus. You hadn't consumed any alcohol or illegal substances no. at all that day? Not at all, no. I understand you were unconscious, but do you happen to remember anything before or after? Uh, no, I honestly just remember up to the part of go getting back to campus and... Honestly, just the crash on the impact, and after that, it was all. Where did you wake up? At? Where did I wake up? Yeah. Uh, on on campus. Okay. You know I mean? So you don't remember waking up in the hospital? Well, yeah, I remember that too, yeah, obviously. So when's the, what's the last thing you rem you do remember then? Like, what's the first thing you would say you remembered? Uh, after the crash. After uh, the crash. Um, yeah, just probably waking up in the hospital. I, I, everything from there was all a blur, honestly. And what's the last thing you remembered before the crash? Um, I remember last thing before the crash, I, wa I was driving on campus and there was a car in front of me, and it kind of swerved. And I was going at a, I admit I was going at a high, high, high rate, speed of rate. But um, do you remember fast? how fast? No, I don't remember how fast. Yeah. Okay. Do you know? Do you remember anything about the car coming towards you? Um. No, I feel like I feel like last second it just the car just swerved. Do you remember seeing anyone around in the road on the sidewalks? Honestly, no. Any people? No. no. Okay. What time did you leave to go to McDonald's again? Probably say like nine. And what time did you say you thought you were coming back? Around like nine thirty ish. You didn't have anyone in the car with you? No, I did not. You were by yourself? Yeah, I was by myself, yeah. Okay. And what kind of car do you drive again? A blue Honda Accord. Do you remember the year? Uh, it was a 2009. 2009. Okay. Uh, Steven, for the record, uh, can you tell me if you've ever been like, convicted of a crime? Convicted? No, I have not. No? No. Have you ever filed a lawsuit against anybody? No, I have not. Okay. Have you ever been in an accident before? Yes, I have. Okay. How many? Uh, probably one not at fault. Okay. What was the cause of it? Uh, it was, uh, well, it was my fault. Obviously, I got, I got rear-ended in the back, back. It was about it. Nothing crazy. Were you injured in any way? No, I was not. Okay. Just one last question. Mm -hmm. What were your specific injuries from the accident? Uh, I just had a, a headache. Nothing, nothing, um, major. Just headache. Um, that was about it, honestly. Do you have any damage on your car? Um... Yeah, I do actually. It was my front bumper. It was my front bumper. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Anything else? You all set? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. Um. For the most part, yeah. Uh, I would say he's pretty straight on, but I think we should call him back. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Did he uh, get that? That isn't really on there. On here. Okay. Just know that they did collide. The only thing is that he said he didn't see anyone on the road at all. And if the body was um, in, front in front of, of his a, car, in front of um, his car. No, in front of Hamilton's okay. car. But he had to have hit the Honda, so the body had to have been found somewhere. He had to have seen someone. So okay, let's talk to call Mr. Hamilton. Okay. To start off, can you uh, please state your name, address, and tell them for the record? Uh, my name is Thomas Hamilton. I live at 52 Northview Drive in Glastonbury, Connecticut. What was the last one? Uh, you tell me. 860 803 5012. Thank you. Let's just start off with the base. Can you tell us everything you did from the moment you woke up to the minute you went to bed that day? On Friday? It's the day of the accident. Well, I woke up, I went to class. Um, I got out of class around 11 30. Uh, after class, I went home to my home in, in Connecticut. 
uh, where I met with my sister and had dinner with my family. So what car did you drive home? Uh, my silver Ford. What time did you drive home at? Drove home around 11.30. And what time did you drive back? Uh, I left home around 8 o'clock. So, uh, Mr. Thomas, can you uh, please state for the record if you have any health conditions or any di diagnosis or anything? Nope. Nope, nothing. Also for the record, have you ever been convicted of a crime? I have not. Have you ever uh, filed for a lawsuit? No. Okay. Leading up to the accident, was there any alcohol or drug substance in your system? Absolutely not. It's coming from home. Okay. So, um, what time did you arrive at uh, the campus? Campus? Around 9.20, 9.30, somewhere around that time. Okay. How far do you live from here? Uh, I think it's about 55 miles. And you arrived here around 9.20, 9.30? Yes. What lot did you park in? Um, I normally park in the upper lot near, can't remember what lot it is, but it's the upper lot on campus. Which dorm is it near? Rem, Cup? It's probably closer to Cup. Okay, so it's the lot right near Shammy and Cup yes. right there. Okay. Um, so did you park your car there at 920? I did not. Okay. So where'd you park your car then? I didn't. I got into an accident. Okay. Okay. Do you recall how fast you were going? Uh, I was going the speed limit, 20, 25 miles an hour. So let's talk a little bit about the accident then. Can you tell us what happened? Uh, yeah, I was coming down Center Road. Like I said, I was traveling about 25 miles an hour. Um, and I looked in my rear view mirror and I saw another vehicle traveling at a high rate of speed coming from behind me, closing the distance. Um, and in that second that I looked in my mirror, I was not focused on the road entirely. Mm -hmm. And as I looked back, um, I saw that there was a pedestrian in the road. And I m took evasive action to avoid the pedestrian. And in that process, I swerved and, and hit the curb. But in your, in your report said you did, you hit an independent pedestrian in front of your vehicle. Uh, I did not hit the pedestrian. Did you see who hit the pedestrian? Uh, and I didn't exactly know that the pedestrian was hit until the next morning when I saw it in the paper. Okay, so why, what did you do exactly after you swerved to the, to the curb? You got out of your car. Uh, I actually remained in my vehicle. You remained in your car, and then what did you do? Um, well, another vehicle came and struck my car. Okay. Shortly after I crashed into the side. But, uh, but in your report, there was witnesses saying that you left the scene of the crime. Uh, at the time, I was not certain that it was a crime. Um, I did not have my license or my insurance in the vehicle, and I assumed that the driver of the other vehicle would want that information. So I went to go retrieve that information. Where did you go retrieve it? Uh, my dorm room. So you got, let's just to clarify this, you got out of your car, saw that a pedestrian was hit, and still went back to your dorm room. Actually, I did not see that the pedestrian was hit. In fact, I, I did not see the pedestrian at all after I had swerved into the curb. Did you see this other car? Yes. Did you see that he was unconscious? What did you exactly see when you got out of your car? Uh, well, I didn't see a whole lot. It was dark out. Um, but I assumed that that driver would want my insurance information. Well, can I ask why didn't you call 911? Uh, I saw that there was another, uh, I think it was a woman, standing on the side of the road, and I believe that she was on her phone calling 911. But before, just a second ago, you said you didn't see anybody. Around. I didn't see any pedestrian in the middle of the road. So you didn't see anyone got hit, but you saw a woman? A woman. Yes. Did she say anything to you? No. Try to stop you from fleeing the scene? No. So when you went to retrieve your information, why did you never come back? Uh, well, I tried to come back later in the night, but it took me a long time to f retrieve my so information. So it takes you multiple hours to go find information? Especially if you, you live have right one. Yeah, you live right there. It just take you two, three minutes. Yeah, it did not take me long to get you should have ran. to my dorm. So then how come it took you so long to get back? Were you busy? Did you get caught up in other things? No, I was looking for my information. Okay, how big is your dorm room? Pretty small. 
So how come it takes you a couple hours to find that information? I have a lot of papers, a lot of notes, and I was doing a lot of paperwork that week. It is the beginning of the school year, too, so... Yes. So okay. since you, you said you go to Nichols College, you would need an ID to get into the building, so you had your ID right there on you. I had my wallet, yes. You, you did your wallet. Why wasn't your license in your wallet? I don't always keep my license in my wallet. I normally keep it in my glove box. You know box. that's also against the law. You should always constantly yes, keep it uh, on you. Like I said before, I, I, I know that I'm supposed to keep my license and insurance in the car, but I had filled out paperwork earlier in the morning. Okay. So just to be clear, you didn't have your license on you. You didn't have your registration on you. I had my registration, but I did not have my insurance card. You didn't have your insurance card. Okay. So when you found all this information in mm -hmm. so-called those couple hours, what did you do? I came back outside and saw that both my car and the other car were not there. And then you, okay, but you said that you moved your car and you parked in the upper lot of Shammy. I did after not, you I did not move my car. So, so you did not park in the upper lot. No, at that's all. where I normally would that's park my car. That's where you normally park. So when you came okay. back from retrieving your information, there was nothing there. Uh, in the road? Yeah. No, my car was not there. I had assumed it was towed. Assumed it was towed, and not, nothing else was there. No police investigating. Nothing. Not that I saw at that what time. What was the exact time that you retrieved your information and came back? It was later on in the night. Um, I can't say exactly what time, but okay. I would say it was after midnight. All right, that, that, We're that'll all be set. It. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm cutting really close on time. Yeah, but I still think there's a good possibility Stephen could have done it. That's the problem. He's, he missed up. He missed up on the show three, four times. I know, but yeah. I agree. But Stephen was also unconscious. So he doesn't technically remember anything. And if he's saying he swerved off the road, and I, I don't well, know. He's saying if he's going, if he's going 25, speed limit's 15, so he's really going on. They're both speeding, yeah. Okay, let's call Callie back in. Right. Take a seat. So, uh, Callie, can, uh, can you tell me in like, specific details what happened and what you saw? Um, right, so when I was walking, um, I saw the, a blue car speeding down Center Road, um, sped right by me, um, it, like kind of like shook me up a little bit. But then I heard um, like a crash um, happen, so that's when I like I started running over to like where I heard it from, um, and that's when. Okay, more specifically, can you get into detail where the cars ended up when you heard? The crash, the crash. Did you see the cars physically hit each other? No. Or what did you see? Um, all I, when I turned around mm -hmm. um, and looked down the road, I saw like the two cars crashed into each other. Okay. Did you know you saw, you saw someone running away? Yes. Uh, so uh, What was the description again? Yeah, so like when I started running towards the scene, I saw um, the driver of the, um, the silver car get out and start running and start away. Running. Okay. Yeah. Do you know exactly what he looked like? Um, yeah, so I only saw, like, the back of him. Um, he kind of had, like, longer hair in the back, was wearing a hat, um, and, like, appeared to be, like, a white male. Okay. How long were you at the scene for? Um, until the, um, the first responders came. Okay, and how long was that? Um, I'm not really sure how long it took for them to get there after I made the call. Okay. That's good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, just First off, is there any possibility that you think you could have hit someone without realizing it? Uh, any possibility? Any possibility. Sure, I'm sure that there is a possibility, okay. but it's a very small possibility. You got out of your car. You did not see anybody. Did you check the front of your car? You did not see anyone in front of you. I did not see anybody in front of my car. I was pinned up against the curb. Okay, well, in the report, it says that there was a body in front of your car. It's a body so. in front of your car and the car you hit. Yes. Okay, so tell us what you did again that day. What time did you go home at? Around 11.30. Okay. Where were you going again? Home. Home. How many miles away? About 55. Who were you going to visit? My sister. Your sister. Did she come back to school with you or no? She did not. So you were completely alone in the car? Yes. So you yeah. said you were coming back to school, correct? Yes. At what time? I'd say I left home around 8 or 
You, live, you say you live 55 miles away? Yes. Okay. So was it 8 or 8.30? Before you said 8, and now you're saying it could have been 8.30. Could have been 8.30. I, I don't know. I left some. I didn't really check the clock before I left, but it was probably around 8 or 8.30, somewhere in between there. Okay. okay. And you were speeding down Center Road. Yeah. Going about 20 or 25 miles an hour. Okay. Well, the speed limit is 15 here, so that you would be going over the speed limit. So in impact, you could have hit somebody. It's again, it is possible, but I, I don't think that's true. I took very heavy maneuvers to avoid the pedestrian that was in the road. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Is that, is that are we done or? Well, okay. let's discuss yeah. for one second. <laughs> um, I think all evidence points to that. Mr. Hamilton. Yeah, Mr. Hamilton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Even if Stephen were to, he, he'd still be at fault for leaving the crime. Of, yeah, the crime, so it's a crime right there. Yeah. I Time's agree. up anyway, so I'm going to let